Hello everyone, Marcus here with another coin show and tell video. Today I'm going to do something a little differently. Um, we're, I've got um, this coin magazine here and uh, I'm going to be um, looking up some coin values for you guys in this video and uh, I'm also going to be going over the coins here that I have to kind of just give you a little bit more insight into the coins. I will do the look up last, so let me move some stuff around, guys, okay? And, and I'll bring you back with the coins I'm going to show you, okay, guys? Okay, so first up, we have a 1918 Buffalo Nickel. I don't know if you can see the date or not. Yeah, there's one on there. And then, um, now this one you should be able to see it like really, really good. The, the date at least. This is a 1936. Um, Philadelphia Buffalo Nickel. Yeah, it's a Philadelphia Buffalo Nickel from 1936. And then This is a nineteen I don't know if you can see it, but it says nineteen fifty one and I checked the mint mark. And uh, there is no mint mark. The mint mark on the silver dimes, the mint mark would be kind of right over here by the thing here on the, uh, on the other, on the left side of the torch on the bottom at the base of it. And as you can see, there's no mint mark there. Um, all dimes minted prior to 1964 were silver. So this is silver. It's 1951. And don't worry, guys, if you didn't see those other two coins, I'll show you those coins again before I go to the do the um, coin lookup. Now, these ones are not in the book that I'm going to be using because of the year on the book. But these are uh, a complete uncirculated NIFC half dollars. NIFC stand for not intended for circulation. This is a 2020 Philadelphia, and in this one is a 2020 Denver, and they're both in really, really good shape. So these ones I will look up off camera to see what they're on average selling for to give you an accurate price on it. and. Um, I do want to say that these other coins that I will look up, such as these Buffalo Nickels, the, the prices are going to vary on them because, um, uh, because the, the book that I have is a little out of date. So um, with the value, I, I say give or take a couple bucks or a few cents um, because of inflation. So, um, so is probably what the actual value is so 
And like I said, I'm not an expert, so everything that I tell you is just an estimate based on condition. Um, this is a 30, 1936 Buffalo Nickel, as I said before. Here's the back. And as you can see, there's no mint mark between the E and C and five cents. And then here's the 1918. You might not be able to see it because it's the date on this one because like I said, it's an older one. And on the older ones, the date doesn't really show up that well. Okay, this is a 1918 and it's a Philadelphia, just like the other one. Okay. So let me bring in the book, and then I'll get right back to you here in just a second. So I looked up the uh, price for the 2020 Philadelphia Kennedy Half Dollar, an IFC, um, and it's all based on condition, as you can see. And as you can see, these are probably in a high mint state because they're practically uncirculated. And um, I'm not an expert, like I said, but I'm going to give you my um, a little bit of know-how here. So, with that said, that one's for the Philadelphia. I'll look up the one for the Denver here soon. But, if you look here, in heavily circulated shape, let's go down here to the worst grade we can think of. So, as you can see... According to NGC, which is a respected and reputable um, coin grading system and, and, and uh, value system, uh, not as reliable as PCGS, but um, this is what N NGC said. And they are citing a PCGS um, price um, and because uh, they, they told me that it was, uh, or it's from... Uh, uh, based off of auction records, au auction records from PCGS, but in a pre-AG, it's only worth about fifty-five cents. G fifty-five cents, fine, just fifty-five cents. You know, VG, and even VF is fifty-five cents. Um, uh, XF is fifty-five cents. You know, XF plus. Uh, AU50, AU50+, plus, AU53, all 55 cents. 53 plus 55 cents. A 55 is 55 cents. A 55 plus is 55 cents. Now, this is when the money starts to go up a bit. As MS58, you up to 60 cents. And then a 58 plus is a 65. And then 60, 60 plus is 75 cents. 61 is 85 cents 61 plus is 85 cents and then this is where the price just skyrockets okay so for an ms62 uh it's worth a dollar 25 uh, uh 62 plus is a dollar 50 a 63 is two dollars 63 plus is three dollars 64 is five 64 plus is 750 and a uh, 65 is 12.50, and then a 65 plus is 15, and then a 66 is two is 20 dollars, and then so on and so forth. And I mean, they've even got higher grades here that aren't even listed, but I'm sure it's more than that. So you can see where the coin is, and I'm going to say based on the condition of mine that I have. I'm going to say mine is probably worth between three dollars to maybe about twelve fifty somewhere in that range. Um, so it's not one I would recommend getting graded, but it's one that is still worth some money and would be kind of cool to own in your collection. Um, I'm going to see if they have the De the Denver one on here now. Okay. So according to uscoinbook.com, uh, um, which is not necessarily a 100% accurate um, source, 
but um, it's still uh, a source to uh, thing. But as you can see, if you were to melt it, it's only worth 10 cents, so you'd be basically devaluing the coin and lose money on it. But, um, Brilliant Uncirculated, which is MS63, again, it's about in the same price range probably as that last one between the 250 230 to, you know, $12 price range, as evidenced by this and those higher grades. I, I know this isn't necessarily the best option, but to double check and to confirm with you, oh, they don't only have the record for the, on the, it looks like on the NGC, but you get the idea, guys. So, now, I'm going to look up the 1918 Buffalo Nickel. And the 1918 Buffalo Nickel, because as you can see, this is a better look at what the Buffalo Nickel looks like. Now that's the Type 1, because it's got the raised mound. I guess you can't really see it, but basically it's got the raised mound. You can see it up there at the top, I guess. Um, and as you can see, the 19, um, 18 Buffalo Nickel, according to these listings. Where is it? 1918 Philadelphia, right here where my finger is. So the 1918 Philadelphia is right there. I, I, I don't know why you can't see it, guys. If it's fuzzy, I don't know why. I'm trying to hold it still. But yeah, it's right there. And in G4, which is slightly better than that, it's worth about $5.25. Uh, so mine's probably worth between $5 and $8, that particular coin is. And again, I don't know why it is messing up. I don't know if it's because the print is so small that when you zoom in, it bothers it. But I kind of wanted to give you a general sense of that. And then over here, we have the Roosevelt Dimes. Where's the 1951? 1951 Roosevelt dime, which is literally right there. It's a Philadelphia. It's not really worth anything unless it's an AU50. So it's really worth only about two times face in the condition it is. Plus you figure whatever uh, the, the face is in silver uh, based off of the size of it. So it's probably about maybe a buck or two in value in the condition it's in so and then the 36 buffalo nickel that's a common one so and like i said but in that one is in nice shape so i'm probably going to say it's about five bucks maybe so if you enjoyed this video i hope you found it informative and you liked it um i try to post videos on this channel as much as i can um, I just want to say thank you for watching.